Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 116 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. Uh, today we have a huge episode. Actually, we got the FA Cup semi-final against West Brom. I'd love to make the final and win it. Uh, both competitions that somehow I haven't won in this save yet. The FA Cup, I'm really surprised that we haven't won the FA Cup yet. I think we've been in the final two times. Uh, just to my memory, I think it's four seasons now we've played, um, hasn't it been? Uh, but yeah, this has to be the season for FA Cup. I almost want to win that as much as Champions League because I wouldn't want to end this kind of and haven't won FA Cup, you know. It's a competition I do want to have to my name as a manager. And then also the first leg uh, semi-final uh, against Atletico of the Champions League is going to be huge. You may have noticed I played these two off camera, which originally I didn't. I recorded it, uh, but it was like the matches were lagging for whatever reason and it wouldn't be a good video to upload. So luckily it was just, yeah, two easy beat teams in the league like West Ham and Wigan. We'll just see where they are anyway. Yeah, Wigan in the relegation zone is going to be tough for them. Yeah, they're probably not going to get out of that. And West Ham, they're down the bottom as well. They're kind of in a safe they're, they're in a safe position. They're low in the table, but they're not going to get relegated unless something disastrous happens. I don't think they can. But uh, yeah, just some stats here. Surprisingly, we don't have any players. Usually when I have a really dominant season, like I don't know if this season for us has been dominant in the league, but it's been really good. You can't hide behind that. Like We scored 90 goals and conceded 21. You see the next team, we have similar goals against. Uh, Liverpool have one more goal against, and we have one less game played. But look how much more goals we've scored. That's I want to get to 100 goals again. I think that's a, a must for me. So we won the title last three seasons. Uh, Marco Royce is actually, yeah, around. But look at that Raheem Sterling. He's absolutely dominant. He's an amazing player, really, in Football Manager. And just to talk about Sterling, obviously, you know how he's moved to Manchester City in real life. Like, these days on the internet, like, especially when you follow, like, on Facebook and Twitter, a lot of pages and whatever, uh, you always see people commenting now that uh, Sterling, he's, <laughs> like, he's going to be sitting on the bench. But uh, I'm just, like, laughing. I, I don't, I'm not going to even entertain the thought to reply to those people saying, see, that's what I like to do anyway, just reply to people that I think just their opinions are wrong and just stupid, but yeah, the, <laughs> I just want to, I want to talk about it, um, the thing is with Sterling, Manchester City don't have that many quality wingers, and even Navas on right wing, like, Navas doesn't score a lot, so even if you say Navas, he could play ahead of him, and Sterling could play attacking midfield, or on the left wing as well, he can play probably three key positions uh, in attack, and yeah, they don't have a lot of players out wide that's quality, when they, uh, they, they just don't have anyone better than him, really now, he would be a start-up player for them, uh, Fabian Dalf probably would be playing a bit more on the bench, because uh, uh, City, they do have strong central midfielders, so that's another discussion, but for me, Sterling, people keep saying, uh, like, he's going to be sitting on the bench, he's not going to be sitting on the bench, uh, sure, some game, he's not going to start every single game, but he's going to be playing games, so, yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion and leave your honest p opinion about that, but, yeah, it's, it's not like he's going to start every single game on the bench, I'll tell you this, he'll start more games than he doesn't, that's for sure, well, not for sure, that's my opinion, but still, there's a pretty good chance I believe that will happen. So, also, I just want to say, yeah, I couldn't uh, show the last two games uh, I played, which I did actually record, but it was lagging. I think my computer just had an off day uh, when I was rendering it after. It took so much longer. So, yeah, I, was, I think my computer was just having an off day. So, uh, I will just play the next two games. So, for this West Brom game, it's important. It's FA Cup and semi-final, and I'm still resting some players. I'm still resting some players, uh, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing my best team. So we're going here. Um, hopefully, yeah, we can do well without any repercussions. Don't want to get any injuries or anything like that. Nicole Liali, we're going to bring on Ika Casillas back in for these huge games. And um, this is yeah, this is going to be a team. Uh, Munir, mate, we'll bring in Zivkovic uh, or oh, oh, James Olsen as well. Uh, like for me, he has a slight concern, and guys like that, I'm going to be. 
well, I would say be letting go of, but it's kind of not worrying about them. And Yanazai did well, I think it was in one of those games. Just so I give you an update, who did well in those games? Yeah, the last game against Wigan, Yanazai killed at two goals. So that's for him. Those kind of games, the rest of the Premier League games, he can play for the season. But we've got big games like this. I'm even trying to play uh, Di Maria on the left wing here because I'm trying to get Goethe, Oliver playing. Just yeah, kind of different combinations, you know, for this game here today. Munir, but I think Zivkovic... Uh, for me, Wilson only comes in on the bench uh, when one of them is injured or suspended or something like that. They can't be selected. I think that's the best move. Iniesta, like, Iniesta's a quality player, but just he, he's not fitting in. Uh, that's just the way it's panned out. Uh, I feel other guys have fresher, like younger guys like Goetze, Oliver, who else? Romero, when he rotates in, they have, they have fresher legs. It comes down uh, being as simple as that. Tielemans as well. They won't have the same experience, but they just have fresher legs, you know, and they're still quality. They're, a lot of them are pushing towards being world-class if they're not world-class yet. Maybe someone like Oliver, you may not say is world-class, even though he's got some killer attributes. He's got some really high attributes, but I suppose it's not really all across the board, you know. He just doesn't have high attributes everywhere. Like someone probably like Romero, just, yeah, so many. Uh, but he's got a lot in uh, key attributes. See, nah, I'm, I have a bad feeling again. Uh, because this match thing is showing a long time to load, uh, which may be a concern. And I don't want it to la lag again, you know, uh, like the last two games. If it is, I'll have to have a, a serious uh, think about it. Or I may even, uh, I'll put it to 2D. I'll change it to 2D if that's a, then it will be changed for sure. So maybe I'll have to go back to playing 2D in my games. Um, hopefully you won't... I think that's too bad. We'll do, we'll just see how it goes from here. We'll just see. But if it's a key thing for me, um, yeah, and I think I lowered the quality so you can't see him as good. And I think I can notice already. We'll just see from this highlight. We'll see if we can score a goal. And, oh, that's so close. But, yeah, you may be even... Because I, I lowered the quality to try and tell. And I'm going to change it instantly because <laughs> I don't want the video to be ruined by me keep talking about it. That will happen in the last video as well. So, yeah, it's back to 2D for now and even for the goal action because I don't know what's up lately. I have n nothing's actually changed. Nothing's changed. So, I don't know. I don't know why. So, let's forget about that and just yeah, uh, move on from now. Come on, D Maria. But, yeah, that's what actually happened. Um... um in the last video, um, it was like lagging during the game. You'd notice like players stop and that it stops in play. And I wasn't sure the yeah, I wasn't sure the, why that was happening. So unless until I know yeah how to change that, uh, they, I won't be playing 3D. It will be quick, uh, quicker for me to upload uh, my videos. And some people actually like 2D more, so it's probably best. Yeah, I mean, instead of worrying about it, uh, just to do it on 2D from now on, until I could find a fix. But come on, Anigo Martinez, well done. And now Bernat gets it forward. Zivkovic. Oh, he's got pace. Now it's Hamas Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez. Ooh. But actually, I haven't played on 2D for a good while, so it's very interesting. Uh, not interesting. It's like, it feels weird to be playing on it, but a lot of people are used to it, kind of. Uh, that's why people, I guess, don't like it if you change it, because you're used to it. If, yeah, someone's playing it a lot themselves. Come on, tackle. Oh, they're in space. We got to close down. Oh, was that Di Maria? That was a crucial challenge there. I honestly thought a goal could have been coming up there for West Brom. I was surprised they made it this far. Obviously, would have got an easy enough draw, you know. But Svensson, Svensson, they're getting a lot of space out wide here. That's something I'm noticing. But will you? We're dealing with it. They're having chances, but we're dealing with it. And I have a feeling we're going to score here through Zivkovic, or not. He goes back. Unless we work it back to Zivkovic, no. It's Rodriguez and Hamas Rodriguez. We're the team. I had a feeling we we're going to be scoring. And there we go. 1-0. Uh, good start to the game. Uh, first eight minutes, we've had a few chances already. Looks really good. So Oliver, yeah, he played that to Rodriguez. And then he just turned. It was too good. And the goalkeeper didn't look likely. Never looked like saving that at all. Now, Ron Preslin finds Hughes. Now, Zivkovic. Zivkovic, Rodriguez. He's too good, Hamas Rodriguez. He's world-class for me in this save right now. 
not in real life, just want to make sure to say that, yeah, right now in this save, save he's the best player in the world, because Ronaldo and Messi have dropped, or he's at least on par with them, they're just, he's too good, you know, he's that extra level, he's the next level, he's the next level, he scores when he wants, he's too good at Mario Gertz, I don't want him to get injured, I may have to take him off after this highlight, we're being really good here, now Rodriguez, Goethe, <laughs> don't get too much involved, I want to take you off, uh, Di Maria finish, Di Maria finds Zivkovic, and he eventually does score, but he's, no, no, he's offside, so that's a bit unfortunate, anyway, uh, Mario Goethe is going to come off early here, because I'm, I'm not going to risk, I'm not going to be silly and risk it, we'll bring Romero there, maybe put him a bit more defensive, a deep line playmaker, and yet yeah, Oliver a bit more advanced, there we go, faith in you, so yeah, leave in your thoughts anyway, if you prefer 2D in Football Manager, so, and you know how I said I was going to do uh, face cam in the future, like after I finish this series, in a new, it, it suits it a bit, like if I just put, put example, I could fit a box where these bars are, like uh, that sidebar kind of thing, you could say this space, uh, where there's like a background, it could fit in there, and maybe even covering the Sky Sports HD one, or maybe down the bottom here, in that part, something like that, so that actually could down, <laughs> turn out to be a positive, things always work out, you know, uh, one way or another, but come on, and video, yeah, um, obviously adding that will increase the upload time, but then if I go back to doing 2D, that takes away the 3D <laughs> upload time, so it probably evens itself out uh, by playing on 2D, come on Preslin, let's finish this off, it's, it's not one yet, it's pretty much been all because of Rodriguez. Ah, giving away that ball. Come on. It's Dorans. Come on, challenge him. Oliver, good challenge. I'm surprised by that, honestly. He doesn't have that great defensive attributes. And Di Maria out wide. Leave your comments if I should play him more there. But obviously, Memphis Depay will play most games. And that's another goal. Was that Romero? Ooh, that's his first goal of the season. And that's not a knock on his... Uh, performances this season, no way, because he's been playing that defensive midfield half-back role where you're never in a goal-scoring position, not even from uh, corners, so that's what, like, Jones obviously has got a lot of goals, it's probably, yeah, the position you'd score least goals from, so yeah, it's, another, it's not a knock on how he's performed this season, he's just not been in goal-scoring positions, but when he plays in a more advanced centre-mid role, and that's just a deep-line playmaker, <laughs> and he can get around the goals, so yeah, he's a talented player, he can play in a few roles, uh, which is good to have world close world class players like that. And <laughs> Nego Martinez, he's stepping towards that as well, being so good. Rodriguez, he's really good as a third a uh, third centre back, isn't he? Behind Jones and Belanta, and now Di Maria. Ooh, only thing about Di Maria, uh, he's getting a bit older, so may drop uh, his pace, but he's still a talented player, obviously. Or they might go for a long throw here. Oliver, he's getting in good defensive positions, I'm liking that, now Will Hughes finds Zivkovic, this has to be played, look at that, look at that, there's Di Maria, there's, D come on, you had to find him, he had to be found there, Di Maria would have been just so mad, I'm mad that he didn't play it to him, we're in a good position though, uh, but yeah, Phil Jones, I think he's missing the next game, so yeah, the Atletico one, he's, it's going to be an interesting one, so we might as well leave him playing the whole game here, It'll be interesting if Blant... I don't think Blant is going to be back as well. So maybe Sergio Ramos has to play centre-back. So it'll be very interesting. Or uh, Preston, I'm going to have to manage them. Okay, why... Uh, Rodriguez, why are you confused and demotivated? He was doing well. He scored two goals. So I'll just say I'm very happy. That's... Okay. And then Casillas got a reaction and I wasn't even talking to him. I was talking to James Rodriguez. Uh, sometimes reactions are a bit weird. But anyway... We'll go into the second half. This is kind of when you're in this stage against a team like West Brom, you're winning 3-0 uh, during game halftime. You don't expect the result is going to change too much. Like, you don't believe you're going to lose. Anything can happen in a cup kind of semi-final or any final stage, you know. Uh, Preslin pick up a knock. We've got to take him off because he may have to play a part in the next game. Okay, it doesn't look like he's injured. <laughs> His condition's still decent, so we'll just see how it plays out for the next 10 minutes as we go into the yeah 60th minute and we'll analyze what change we should make so that's what i mean nothing's <laughs> nothing kind of is happening here so yeah we'll look at some players who could play a part of the next fixture four days from now pressland yeah or oh, nigo martinez at center back will probably be playing for sure so we're gonna have to bring on 
Uh, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos is uh, pretty good now, even more like defensively. Uh, can play anywhere. We taught him to play left back a bit more uh, to become accomplished, opposed to competent. I was, he, I believe he was before. I think so. That's all right. Uh, Di Maria. Ooh, I'm not sure 100% if he'll play a part. Di Maria. Um, should Oliver? Because oh, he's he's really good. Look, all those high attributes. They're all real high, aren't they? Like not just good. They're world class. How high they are? Like 18s, 19s, and 20s. It's really, really good. So. Yeah, I'm just thinking who would be the, uh, like, uh, Zivkovic, no, because we could just start Munir. Uh, Hamas Rodriguez, he's, a 79 condition is okay. Uh, I'm not sure how now, Di Maria, first few seasons, he was really crucial, but I'm not sure how crucial he is now. That's one you have to throw up in the air. Now nah, we'll go Di Maria, we'll take him off. He still may play a part, and we'll bring on Memphis Depay. Maybe we'll score again and be on form. You can still play him a good 30 minutes. I feel that's still important. And there we go. Again, like I said, I would like to have a good second half. I'd like at least a goal. Because then we'll be going to the next game. The last 45 minutes we played wasn't too amazing. But I wouldn't mind it too much if we just yeah, hold on. Don't get any injuries. That's For me, that's crucial. Let's see if we get one here. Come on. Jones. And of course, get one here. Not an injury, a goal. Come on, Rowan Pressland. He finds Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez. Ooh, good save by Foster. He had to pull one off. He's been in, uh, been beaten a few times for Rodriguez in this game. Come and play back to him. Then, okay, Depay goes the opposite way. Goes back to Pressland. Oh, Pressland, man. He's been one of my best regens ever, I can say that, uh, without going to... If I were to play further, if this was a private save, no doubt I probably would have. And probably going to the future, I'll... Oh, no. This Jones, another red card. He got one in the, the last Champions League game. Jones, oh man, it's not like a huge, like a huge bad thing for us. Blatt will be coming back, but it's still annoying for him to be picking up cards. And we'll just leave it. I can't be bothered changing it, really. It's not going to affect the result. And you'll probably notice it uh, slightly uh, how I'm playing the game now anyway it, it may seem a little bit slower i'm not sure why like yeah, when it's trying to process something to continue like that moment there um maybe a slight extra second or even half of that but still yeah uh, slightly longer than normal so i'm going to try and investigate what's the problem uh but yeah i don't really know I'm not, it's not like i'm running any other programs or something so it must be something i'm not sure what if have any ideas if it ever happened to you uh, drop a comment, but we'll move on, uh, with a nice victory here, uh, 3-0, uh, we make the final, I think, yeah, this is the third time we make the final, is it, uh, we've got to win it, we have to, so, obviously, we'll see that, um, at the end of the season, uh, one of the last games we'll play of the season will be the FA Cup final, and hopefully, um, we can be victorious, so guys, it's time for the huge game, semi-final, Champions League, here we are once again, this time against Atletico Madrid at home, we should be yeah looking to uh, do well, uh, put us at an advantage, definitely going to the away leg. Uh, it's not going to be an easy one. We have some players missing. Phil Jones suspended. Belant is still not back. So we're really not having our first two choices at centre-back. We've still got Anigo Martinez and Sergio Ramos, though. That's what you got to compare us to other teams. You take away their two best centre-backs, and who do they have? We've still got Anigo Martinez and Sergio Ramos, who probably would be starters for any other team, which is good for us. Also, I want to say, early in this episode, you would have uh, seen me yeah, changing it to 2D and everything like that. I'm recording this the next day, because what I did in Football Manager, uh, if you notice your game going slowly or something like that, uh, what you have to go to is Interface, Go Preferences and Interface, and clear cache it clears just everything and when you load up the game again it's like you start it fresh like it's not using the normal skin you use and yeah everything gets reset and it's like when you clear the internet like your history and everything like that sometimes you have to do that if your internet's going slow or whatever or if you've just been uh looking for porn and your parents are going to check your computer so your history's not on your computer but anyway that's the same kind of thing it does and i've never done that in this year so i'm not surprised it's been going slowly uh, but i'm still i'm gonna leave it on 2d for now for the reasons i said earlier if i am gonna add face cam it'll be easy to suit it on one of the sidebar kind of things in the space so 
and yeah, it will be quicker for processing time and uploading to YouTube. And also, uh, something else that may have been the issue, uh, some of you guys asked this question as well, what do I use to record Football Manager? I use this program called Camtasia Studio, and I noticed, so it wasn't just Football Manager, it was that because after I record, then it has to render itself, it's if you don't know about making videos it's hard but yeah as soon as you finish recording it kind of processes all you just recorded and it was taking yeah so much longer than normal and i just did a test record before and it went back to normal after i reinstalled camtasia studio it's the first time in basic three years that i had to do that um so yeah it lasted pretty pretty long i didn't think sometimes that's what you have to do yeah uh, sometimes it's pretty obvious but sometimes it is the actual uh, <laughs> cure to the problem so yeah it should be all good from now and shouldn't have to worry about that as we have much bigger things to focus on and Juve had a very good first game against Fenerbahce first leg at home 3-1 maybe the key away goal and Pogba getting injured is it a big injury yeah injured all oh, to two to three months so even if Juve advance he's not going to be like if somehow uh, we face Juve uh, in the final if they get through, like, we could be facing Juve, but they wouldn't have Pogba. Uh, did they get any other injuries as well? Uh, Tevez still looks to be on form, and he's still there. He would be aging, wouldn't he, Tevez? How old is Tevez now? Yeah, 34. So how's he looking, actually? Yeah, still mentally. That's what I mean. Regardless of a player's age, they're still going to keep their mentals. They're rarely going to drop, or if anything, they're going to drop... Uh, not like significantly like physicals and technicals would and especially this is another one i i mentioned this but in case you missed that video in whatever episode i did it in the natural fitness when i talked about that the higher that is the better the player is for longer like uh the longer he can keep his attributes and they can stay at the same ability but if natural fitness is really low they'll start declining in their attributes even in their lo young 30s like 31 32 uh, maybe even a bit before that as well, like 29, 30. So uh, that's one of the key uh, attributes to the fitness attribute, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, another interesting fact is their goalkeepers. Their best goalkeeper is Colombi. He's decent, you know, but he's not Buffon level. So yeah, that's, I think everything covered there. And they've got Storaro, who's not that good. So they don't have too many injuries. Kingsley Coman is at the pinnacle right now. Uh, both are well, they kind of got three, yeah, Pogba, those, and I suppose you could add Umtiti as well, of course, we signed him, then we sold him to Juve, uh, how much was it for, yeah, for 20.5 million, which I think was a pretty good deal, but anyway, yeah, they, they got the, at least in attack, the two French strikers in Komen, I know they could probably play other positions, he's attacking midfielder, but Komen and Lacazette, uh, obviously Komen, a bit younger, 21, but he develops into a pretty good player, at least value-wise, so, yeah, I think it's time to get into the game now, but that's a key fact. Pogba, two to three months injury, so they're going to... they still got Gaston Gil Romero, who I've actually never signed. We do have the other Romero, but I've never signed him before. Maybe my AC Milan save, <laughs> I probably... I should... I really want to manage him, but it just it's never happened for me. It just it hasn't panned out for me to sign him, you know, so... This will be the team we go in with. Pretty strong. Not our strongest team because of injuries. Belanta on his way back. I'm not sure if I'll play him or not. Because we could get a centre-back injury and he's the best one available. We don't actually have anyone else available. So, yeah. yeah. Again, uh, I don't think I've managed my squad the best this season. So, I would understand if you said that. Uh, but, yeah. Iniesta, very poor morale. Royce, Yanazai, and Pilo. I'm actually really not happy about having that right there. So, uh, should Telemans come in for Oliver? Oliver being... Oh. Oliver, I think that's what we need. He's got more really high attributes. But what has he done against the best the best team? Sure, he can do well against West Brom or something like that. But against Liverpool, 7.9. But Real Madrid, 6.8 in Champions League. Came on at half time, though. So it's hard. this is where the best decisions... Y Yuri Tielemans is a wonder kid. Would that be the difference? Uh, uh, I'm going to have to go Tielemans. Last minute decision. And bring him on for Oliver. Hopefully, it's a good one as well. Let's go in, lads. Come on. Come on, have, hopefully everything shall run smoothly from now on. Uh, I just, like I said, reinstalled Camtasia Studio and cleared the cache of Football Manager, if that's how you pronounce that word. <laughs> uh, anyway, one Mata is going to be key for them, obviously. Yeah, a big one we sold. But yeah, that was actually to get Oliver, Oliver Torres. Um, but out wide, this is, yeah, this is concern for Madrid. Arda Turan, who's a world-class player, I think he's absolutely fantastic. But he lacks the physical ability, especially that he's 31 now. And like I said about natural fitness, he doesn't have the highest. It's 11, so he's going to be declining. He's probably not that world-class. Was he... 
Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think he's a really good player in real life. Uh, but yeah, physically he lacks. That's why he's natural attacking midfielder. He doesn't have the pace. And then Koke, who again is a magnificent player, but he doesn't have that killer pace. So those two playing at wingers uh, as wingers, I'm not really scared. I'm not sure if it's part of yeah that their tactical plans. Maybe they'll trick me. I don't really know, but I don't think they'll make a huge impact. Um, at least as wingers, they may be playing different roles. You don't really know. And they're playing two defensive mi midfielders. Uh, Sayul, who's not bad. He's got some decent attributes. He's just a good squad player. Can play up the center back as well. And these are Gies. I think that's how you say his name. Johannes Gies, uh, German. Hasn't played for the national team. He's a decent player. He's doing well for them. But he still needs a bit more about him, you know. But I suppose as the, that defensive midfielder, his tackling is not that good, so that could be a concern, but he's a good passer, good vision, he's a creative player, and he looks really young, but don't forget, he'll be about 20 when the game starts, so that seems about right, but he looks uh, very, very young. Anyway, uh, we shall move in and hopefully start well, see Sergio Ramos as the captain for this game, because Phil Jones is missing, very disappointing, but that's almost... If I could change that, I'd choose to ha have Sergio Ramos as captain for this kind of game instead of Phil Jones, if that was the case, because he's got, he's been, he's done it at this stage before, you know, and, and World Cups as well. And look at this. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever had this before or all ones. I was going to say where all my defenders have scored a goal in the season, but yeah, it's funny. It's just one, 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 one of the defensive midfielders, uh, and even Yuri Tielemans as well. That's very interesting. I'm not sure if that's a sign of something to come in this game. We're not playing enough goal scorers in midfield. Romero only won for the season. And Tielemans only won for the season. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the first time I would have seen that. I think just that's just something that triggered in my head. That's very, very interesting. <laughs> More than anything. Just, yeah, I find it interesting. So come on. Let's finish, finish off where we left off in last game. And yeah, go for a really big win here. Uh, one of those, like, three nils in the first leg. I like those. To put us... I'd love to not concede. No away goals for Atletico. So, we'll see what happens here. One Marta. Come on, win the header. Uh, it's lucky because I was scared we couldn't concede there with, yeah, a defender off. Imagine if we score. Could we score with a less man? Munir. He goes all the way back to Romero. Now Goethe. Now Tielemans. Oh, come on. Keep the ball. Okay, lucky. Luke Shaw's coming on now, so nothing to worry about. Yuri Tielemans finds Hamas Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez! Get in! I don't know why I reacted loud there. I didn't even plan to. It's just... Oh, yes, what a goal. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yes, 1-0. And Hamas Rodriguez, he's just been too good. And, yeah, sorry with that uh, loud celebration. Um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't plan that. Like I said, it just comes. Sometimes people will say I have fake reactions. No way, man. Like, oh man, what a goal that is. I know I'm just, sometimes I don't know how to react. Sometimes it's like that as well, because this is such a pinnacle where we want to be. We want to get to the final of the Champions League. Come on. You've got to say assertively, but it was apart from that goal, nothing. Oh, don't stress. Don't stress. Uh, Luke Shaw. We'll go assertively, and I'll say, um, I don't, I don't. What do I say? Pressure off or something? I need you to calm down. And now he's confused and demotivated. Okay. Uh, I'll just say there's no pressure on you. Okay, so <laughs> I'll know to do that next time. But also, it depends on their personality, I believe, as well. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Sometimes people say you should do this team talk all the time, but it depends on the player's personality. Uh, different players with different personalities react to different team talk. So, it's very interesting. But let's just score another. Oh, tap it. Oh, my God. Koke clears it. And that's out. And, yeah, I'm generally a bit more excited today. Like, I don't know why. Maybe because I fixed the whole thing and I was a bit disappointed I couldn't record properly. It was taking long, like I said, with the processing times with Camtasia. But, yeah, I'm just more excited now <laughs> to push on. Come on. Let's get another one. Yuri Tielemans. Uh, Sayul. Romero, okay. Don't let them score a goal. We're only winning 1-0. Like, I don't even think this is good enough. Even if they don't score. Oh, I want to win more than 1-0. Come on, Munir. Munir, what are you doing? We still got possession of the ball, though. This It's good passing. Romero. Now, Rodriguez. It's all harmless, Rodriguez. Can he do it again? Oh. 
Oh, that was a bit of a... I don't know. He wanted to do it all on his own. But Atletico don't look likely at all. That's why I want more from this uh, performance here today. Munir, nah. Sorry. Zivkovic has to come on and do something. I'm sure of it. Uh, Luke Shaw, 71 condition. We'll leave him on because we got like an easy Premier League game up next. And then we'll have the next leg. So yeah, that will be shown in the next episode as well. I may play that Premier League one just off camera as well because... It's more or less, yeah, sewn up again. Uh, Tie to win this season. Come on, we need at least two. I think there was one Marta coming off. Uh, they bring on Rayo Garcia, so probably even less chance to score for them now. I think we'll bring on one Bernat. Like, he's still probably a bit more attacking than Luke Shaw. So, yeah, we're still going attacking. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be happy with 1-0 because we don't concede an away goal, but it's only a one-goal lead. Hmm, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure if I'm happy or not. <laughs> so, yeah, to Tielemans, I guess. It's, would it be a good choice that I played him instead? 7.5. We'll take off Goethe, though, and we'll bring on Angel Di Maria. Hopefully, we can get the job done. And Juan Bernats is going to... I'm just going to say, yeah, Faith. I like saying that one. Normally gets good reactions. And like I said, Bernat is probably slightly more attacking uh, than Luke Shaw and more chance to create something. I'd still be... I'm, I'll be content with this result, 1-0. I couldn't complain... Oh, error! Zivkovic! He didn't take a shot. Come on. That was a great chance. Hmm. I'm still, yeah, it's going to be like I'm second thinking. It was 1-0 going to be good enough. Of course, I'll be pleased about not conceding a away goal, but you don't know what Atletico will do at home. We'll see. Maybe a late goal? Preslin? Nah, that's going to be it. I'm still happy. I'm still happy. We're winning 1-0, and also we didn't concede any away goals. So if we can score away, that's going to yeah put us in a good position as well. I'll just say it's a good win, boys. Well done. I would have liked a bigger result, but it's we're at this stage. It's going to be hard. You're not going to be beating teams easily at this level. Uh, we did well. Like Mandzukic, he scored 11 goals this Champions League campaign. Um, he did nothing today against us. We did dominate them to say, like, 60% possession, and they only had the one shot on target. So it was a strong uh, defensive performance as well, exactly what we wanted. If to, for perfect, for it to be perfect, I would have liked a couple more goals. But again, the key man scoring for us was Hamas Rodriguez. So, guys, that shall be it. And as I said, there's just a Cardiff game. Where's Cardiff, anyway? They should be near the bottom, near allegation. Yeah, um, ooh, it's an important game for them. But, yeah, we'll play that off camera as, yeah, Champions League and FA Cup's going to be uh, the focus from here on out. We have an extra game in hand to Liverpool, and we are seven points ahead. So, uh, we're in a real good position at the minute. So, yeah, and let's go. Hopefully, yeah, we can advance. I'll show that next episode. And, yeah, maybe just do the single. I'll just see how I'm feeling when I record that anyway, if I want to do the Southampton game. Uh, or, yeah, or maybe I won't. I'll just do the Atletico singly, then maybe Southampton and Man City because they're two kind of big games. Southampton ninth. Uh, maybe want to continue try and push for maybe some Europa League football if they can. And Man City to obviously, well, yeah, the top four is already made. That's interesting, yeah? There's no battle for Champions League. The Champions League spots are done and dusted. Norwich has had a great season. Yeah, for Norwich, wow, that's... Amazing. Did they get... I think they got relegated once, and now they've gone up. I don't really know. Uh, I might as well check it out. I'm sure you'd be interested to find out. Let's view history. Yeah, they did. That's a massive effort. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing effort. They got relegated, and then they made it back up. That, that's crazy. They went... And 14th last season to... Realistically, where are they going to finish this season? It's hard to know for sure, but to be fifth, they're fin probably going to finish around fifth at least. I reckon lower seventh because they're yeah winning yeah, a lot of games this season, picking up points. So yeah, leave your thoughts on everything I said in this video. Obviously, a lot of stuff went down, uh, like I talked about earlier. Yeah, I reset the game and everything like that. Clear cache and I uh, reinstalled my Camtasia Studio. So yeah, hopefully the recording process, the processing and the rendering will be a bit smoother for me personally, which you won't see. So you might not be sure what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, definitely video should be able to up be uploaded quicker, especially I'm playing 2D now as well. 3D takes a bit longer, but that should be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.